uh, standing, uh, I am a, uh, what? I am a, the CEO of MapKing. Uh, anyone who knows what is MapKing? Yes, some. You know. Is, is it still working? Yeah. Are you, are you using any? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you using any Android phone? Android. Okay. Oh, he's challenged me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the latest backing we got at the work in the, this year summer. This is the live traffic text. Okay. Uh, you can. Oh, no, I'm sorry, because most of the people are Cantonese. You can do a search, huh? Daibo, you can do a voice search, so you have Daibo, and then route, okay, route well, GPS, and uh, so you have the live traffic. So you have the live traffic text from here to Daibo, and uh, these are the CCTV, you're driving through, now the time is what? It's a 17.59, yeah, just uh, live CCTV and uh, yeah and it tells you all the CCTV you are driving along this is the latest one and uh, you may go want to go the other direction the other route so you pass and you got at the other CCTV you are you may drive along okay so this is the uh, call that we got and I worked uh, this uh, early this year uh, but today is not sales presentation. The presentation today is about a uh, startup or how to run business. So uh, we are a, actually a GIS and a navigation uh, map company running in Hong Kong and Southeast Asia. Uh, so I will cover a bit uh, about maps, a bit about innovation, a bit about market position, why we can survive until today. Oh, there's some virus. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, okay actually, um, we are a local company, so we start like 26. So no longer a startup now, I have some 50 staffs. Uh, uh, we have office in Hong Kong and Singapore, Guangzhou and Malaysia, and we have represented in several countries in uh, Asia Pacific. Uh, yeah, uh, quite some time ago, uh, I got the domain name of mapasia.com. So I believe I am one of the people in Asia that touch map uh, when the internet era started some 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Yeah. And we are doing uh, so-called geographic e-commerce system business. We do projects, we do consumer products. Uh, we integrate these with different kind of products and we're serving the corporate clients as well as uh, consumers. Uh, we have some higher uh, navigation product. We are doing intelligent traffic system, for example, the one I just showed you here for Hong Kong. But we do not promote uh, much uh, in Hong Kong I mean, uh, recently because you know the, the car ownership in Hong Kong is much slower compared with uh, market like Indonesia or Malaysia. So if you go to the Google play market, you search market, you find out our latest version got more than 10,000 uh, users in Malaysia in the Indonesia store in Hong Kong. Yeah, because we promote them. Uh, we have some uh, different business partners in, uh, in the region. Uh, we're doing almost everything related with maps. Uh, actually, I start this year, we're doing like the, uh, uh, some people's told me, I'm not very sure, Some told me, Mapping is one of the few companies still doing some R&D, big or small, in Hong Kong. Uh, the one I showed you just got a word uh, early this year, we got a branch of work in the uh, infotain, mobile infotainment. Uh, 
ICT of work 2013, also with uh, special mention in two models, one is LBS, the other is in uh, dispatching logistics. But the winner is uh, this land. This land is too strong, they have too many money in promotion, in, in making the apps. Okay, uh, we have, throughout the years, uh, I tried this business to, to talk or to make this different business connection explore with some uh, different uh, partners. And this is very important. Uh, I made, what I just showed you here, actually was uh, resulting from uh, two or three major projects uh, we opened took in the past few years. Uh, one is the Intel IBI, the Intel Individual uh, Infotainment Showcase for China in year uh, 2009 and 2010. And also, uh, we were lucky uh, selected by Hutters, there's a Dutch a government uh, uh, called uh, Connected Car Project for Asian City. We did also for them in several countries in Asia. And also, we yeah we did projects, for example, the Singapore MLT taxi. And most of you have been in Singapore and you know the taxi there is very good. It panel and a lot of uh, live communication. And actually, we did the project for Singapore MLT taxi today. And, uh, thousands of taxi running on Singapore with a map king. And also at the back end, uh, uh, the center, the, the, the control center also have our service there. Uh, so actually the company start uh, now is six, 15, yeah, about 15 years, 16 years. And the work we've got this year. Uh, uh, this time, we are in White Life Traffic Showcase uh, Land Transport Authority Singapore. Uh, I can tell you something about Singapore if you want to start there. Singapore is a very different place from Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, you know, we are IT companies. Uh, everyone saying that we, we, we uh, feel difficult to get government projects because government like to open the market to worldwide companies have been with us and, uh, and so uh, there's no priority to, here to uh, how purchase to uh, to local companies and to me these several cases is, uh, is quite interesting actually uh, it was some um, 2008 or around 2007 or so uh, one day we got a call from the Singapore government and they, the guy said uh, whether Mackin want to come and uh, start a project and so the, my staff uh, brought the case to me I said oh, okay, take a look finally, uh, actually that was a, a invitation by the Singapore government they invite a uh, total five companies were invited and, uh, and the Singapore government gave some money to fund the project. That was actually we did something on the smartphone. Actually, that, that was a check in, you know, let's check in everybody knows today. You, you, you go there with the GPS pack and uh, check in over there. So over there, you can see your, uh, you, can, uh, you can put, locate yourself on the map, on a mobile phone, on a map, and your friend can see where you are say hi to you and that is a that kind of LBS project uh, now well uh, now of course uh, you use it on Google Plus or G Plus or you, or you use it on Facebook and Singapore government told me hey came so I went there and uh, they gave money to five companies uh, two companies outside Singapore for LBS one is McCain. Uh, the other is the other was the alumni of MIT, uh, and they uh, by doing that they also get free local companies there. Uh, some of my friends here in the in the same market, and so we were funded by the government and start a that kind of trial project, and we 
we make a product, so we got the money and all. The interesting thing is, Singapore government, when they gave uh, Mad King X dollar, actually we know they gave uh, five X dollar to a local guy. They always are doing like that. They, they always, uh, for example, the telecom to Singapore, they, uh, you may not think time is very strong, and the, the government know, but still the other two, they are the, the other two uh, telecom operators there. And both were owned by government, by, by the uh, government fund, government source. But they invite some foreign companies, go there, invest in that, in the startup, the other, Telecom and also uh, uh, M1, the other, the, the three uh, mobile operators, uh, the telecom operators. So both got government funding and both got external, uh, international funding and then compete each other. Same, same for taxi, as I said, I did the uh, single bus MRT taxi. They also invite some point of company and start something there and to well, Hong Kong is doing something similar today. I mean, these days they have a invite some share for foreigner uh, startups uh, come Hong Kong and to meet with uh, VCs and so on. But so uh, that project is one of the projects that uh, the government created a local uh, competition by government funding. They give big support to local companies and they want some attendance of the region to compete. Yeah, to compete and then uh, see whether the winner can survive or not. So actually over there the five companies today, by knowledge is two, the, the two bigger ones still survive and it's fees more than five. Okay, we uh, as I said uh, I did a working was set up by Intel Asia uh, for a workshop of uh, infotainment of kind uh, and also we did show workshop with uh, uh, the Dutch cutters for connected car uh, in Wisconsin, Beijing, Taipei, Singapore. So uh, after a while in this several uh, projects we we obtained uh, some advantage in, in our knowledge, in domain knowledge in this uh, live shopping panel. So we launched this year, we got a very small work and uh, we launched the product in Hong Kong, in Malaysia, Indonesia. Okay, um, what we need to look at, uh, as I said, I am asked here to come to uh, deliver some of my experience to the audience. Uh, when we look at business, we need to look at business model. Whatever you are going to do, uh, you need to think about how you can survive first. If you can't survive, if you have no money to pay salary, you go. Uh, innovation is very important. Uh, and market position are also very important. Okay. Uh, so survival is very important, especially, you know, uh, the last speaker, uh, when he talked about uh, social enterprise, he mentioned the cost in Hong Kong is quite high. I mean, everyone share our problem. We high high rental costs and high salary. Uh, how we can survive? Yeah. So the key point is you need to have a, a business model. You need to have uh, some technology of your team. With your team, I don't know what's your technology. I don't know. Uh, but we need, yeah, we need apps. So we have our expertise in uh, uh, we have our own rendering engine, three D rendering engine for maps. We have our routing engine. Uh, we also have our own. Uh, now the, the latest one is the live traffic uh, uh, live traffic platform and. You need to have your own technology, but map can have your own technology. And you need to have a strategic location. Hong Kong, Hong Kong is relatively strong if we look at the so-called strategic locations, because Hong Kong is uh, 
we are the only place in China that we do not have uh, internet censorship. Yeah, I have a Weibo, Weibo, and uh, in China, uh, actually, uh, my last message were more higher. My last message were deleted by by the Weibo operator. <laughs> uh, was a message about. Yihai Hei, Wei Hai Xi. Because I left a, a message to say, Wei Hai Xi come home can and ask, ask uh, Hong Kong government send him to China. And uh, that one only lasts for less than less than a day anyway. But stay, still over there for a few hours. Okay. Hong Kong, we are in a strategic position that uh, we don't have any, basically, unless we are doing a Illegal things. Otherwise, we don't have internet censorship. So it's very that's a, a strong strategic position that we are. And also, we are. Okay. Uh, and you need to have your team that uh, have some kind of expertise. In our case, it's math. You know, of course, math. Uh, some R and D abilities. You need to catch right time to market. And you look for various your customers. Okay, so our technology, we are uh, of course the core technology for us is is the uh, map and content. Uh, maybe you know or you don't know. Uh, the Google Map Hong Kong uh, is hundred percent supplied by mapping, except the satellite image and except the street view car. Yeah. And nowadays, actually, we are doing the street view uh, indoor. That that's named as a Google Business Photo, so we can. Uh, I talk with you, my staff talk with uh, here as well as that we can help you take a picture okay. and put it on Google Map and Google Search. Uh, so you need to have good content. To we we need our, in our case we have content, the map content, uh, and you need to create a product. For your own business, or for your own uh, uh, solutions, and provide services. And uh, as I said, we do R and in, in our domain: 3D map, iPhone, and uh, Yeah. Uh, when I just cover about what is strategic locations, you, we, why we we survive until today because we. Position mapping is an Asia company. Hong Kong is too small to survive any map company. Yeah. So if you look at the population here, uh, you we have Hong Kong, it's very small, but we have a one point one point three billion population in China, and one point one billion population in India, and add up the South Asia market there is. Almost three billion population, but nowadays it's difficult because mapping starts some uh, fifteen years ago. At that time, uh, I do see uh, Hong Kong in terms of technology, in terms of our talent, is uh, more advanced than most of the competitors in Southeast Asia. Today, to be honest, I. Uh, I experienced the uh, heavy investment by Singapore government, by Malaysia government, by Thailand government in IT sector, in multimedia sectors uh, to cultivate local companies and to capture uh, foreign investments. So today, I am. Um, I can't say uh, Hong Kong is much advanced compared with our uh, uh, Asian uh, competitors in, in IT because I'm doing IT uh, in a joint map business. In my, in my business, it's okay. Because we own server, we have the true VD engine, we have the routing engine, we have uh, the larger platform, we have server things that most of our, actually, we are the only company in this region have got all this technology. 
So we are more or less uh, safe. But for startups, uh, you really need to find out where is your uh, edge that you are at once than your competitors. Or if not more at once, at least uh, competitive. But maybe we have, yeah. Uh, one of the advantages that Hong Kong people, Hong Kong company has is uh, uh, we read Chinese and we speak uh, language. Yeah. We, we, we can be one of the, 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 the link or one of the uh, core that uh, China and outside China one of the language. Because Singapore, Singapore try a lot, but because actually Singapore is far away from China. So still they are a bit behind when especially in language. Yeah. Especially in language. Because we we speak what the Putuhua around. And most people can speak uh, Cantonese at least and most people, especially young generation can speak Putuhua. And uh, today if you go to look in China, they have a high school strong IT, they have quite strong uh, software or services, but I do not see a very strong China, I do not see much China software in you know, Southeast Asia, Be mostly because of the language. And uh, in my business, I mean in the GIS, in mapping sector, um, today there are some people that want the software system in China, but unless uh, they put very strong, well, it's difficult because people complain when I send an email to you, complain to you, or I, send, I call you, ask for services. If you can't speak good English, you're in trouble. And same for companies in Singapore or Malaysia, they, most young people cannot read Chinese. So even you give them a free Chinese software, they cannot operate it. A free Chinese system, they cannot operate with it because a lot of things in Chinese. Yeah. So, so language barrier is, is what uh, still Hong Kong people, Hong Kong companies still get this uh, uh, advantage relatively. Okay. But in this region, you need to take care about language uh, dialect. On one side, we, we have the advantage that we read and understand Chinese, but on the other side, uh, too many languages in this region. There are more, more than a thousand dialects. Yeah. And not again, uh, the income level are quite very different. Uh, you can make a software. If you make a software on an iPhone or on Android phones, uh, customers in Hong Kong or Singapore or Taiwan or Japan, they will pay to buy the, the piece of software. They will pay to use your app. But in places like Indonesia, like Vietnam, they have huge population, but they like to use credit software or they don't want to pay. So how you can uh, position yourself, your product to take care, actually your, the market sector you want to, to, to go into, you need to uh, uh, think of that, okay? Hong Kong, uh, in this region, we have leading design and technology in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Singapore. Myself, yeah, I have 20 years of uh, experience in GIS and planning, and we have some 50 people. Uh, these, these are the technology we, uh, area we cover with our clients. One of the key points for uh, running a start running a business yeah, uh, is you need to bring your bar product to market at the right time. That's very difficult. The difficulty even to myself, my very experience in, in mapping center, yeah. For example, uh, we start one uh, you know you know we don't got a window tablet now, right? The window RT. Uh, and actually, we invest and 
start one uh, port over there, but the users are not there. <laughs> so we, we lost the money when we even we even even we launch at the right time. Yeah, when when Windows 8 come out, we launch the port, but we don't have we don't have the user wallet to support the port to go off. So so this is what uh, we need to look at. You need to look at the network, uh, the region, uh, the market, your innovation. And in our case, it's quality map. In your case, it's your own quality product. Yeah. Uh, diversified services or income is one of the uh, survival uh, experience that uh, why my company has been here has been uh, more than 15 years. We we do a range of services, products in map related things. Uh, because of that, so uh, this year we got a GIS project. Next year we got a income from navigation software, and then the other year we got some base map uh, e uh, licensing income and. This year, we focus on intelligent uh, transport platform, and I'm very happy to uh, let you know that we just got the intelligent traffic platform project for Kalanopo city government, and uh, it's it's not difficult. Yeah. We are overseas company got a project for a Southeast Asia a capital city, but we got it, and we it will launch in January or February this year, next year. So. Because we position ourselves as a, with our core technology and core coverage, and then we have several uh, uh, source of, of revenue. So uh, while the economy goes up, goes down, we still survive until today. Technologies, uh, technology is one of the core of our business. Uh, I don't want to cover all this. Uh, yeah, okay, a little bit. Um, this was the project we did for Intel, uh, IBI Intel in vehicle infotainment, uh, year 2010 in, for Intel. Uh, and this was the project uh, we provide services to hackers. The uh, Lidlness, intelligent, uh, intelligent automotive innovation. And this, uh, this is the R and a bit of R and D uh, that we sponsored uh, the university of Hong Kong and about LBS and about uh, GPS position, different kind of position technologies. There's also a a one of the uh, new area we are moving into. Okay. Uh, the other core of our business is content. So we have a very comprehensive content throughout uh, well the years. Base map, traffic, contents, live 3D map, uh, nowadays dining guides. So Public, trans uh, public transit, a lot. Yeah. Uh, our integration of the same. Uh, we have we have this one for Hong Kong, but this this is for uh, Kuala Lumpur city. Yeah, this is the uh, service we are providing to uh, Google for the indoor uh, panoramic. Uh, this is again uh, a survival technology. So on one side we have our car, on the other side we provide service to uh, some world leaders that we can get income from here or there. Yeah, so this is what uh, we are getting some income from. China. This one we start uh, actually 
we 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 should have started this year, but unfortunately, quite quite slow. Uh, after we did the Intel IBI project and also the uh, the hardest project of Nikola uh, in, in the past few, two years, uh, we and then we have this platform and Tang Xun, uh, we bought the. They, actually, they are not Tang Xun Weibo is not very strong in live shopping. So because of that, be honest, not many Hong Kong companies can get a partnership with, with these kind of China big companies. And they found out that some technology advisor that we have now is advice of them. So we built up this uh, partnership with Tang Xun uh, this year. And uh, based on this partnership, we exchange some uh, live shopping content. Uh, we can use the live shopping content in China and they will use our live shopping content in Hong Kong. This one can yeah. We do, well this area we can forget because this area we are not very successful. Ah, yeah, yeah. This was the one we did for the Singapore government. Yeah. Actually, this is what you can see today on multiple uh, media reality, on a check in on Facebook, or on Google. We did it, yeah. Of course, we lost. I mean, no, no, no small Hong Kong or Asia company can compete with Facebook or Google. Yeah, but anyway, we did it. <laughs> and but on the other side, uh, when we involved in this kind of uh, uh, projects funded by government, that, that was funded by Singapore government. We, we obtain some experience and by uh, obtaining different experience in different projects so uh, we survive yeah, these are the different projects so I use uh, half an hour about uh, what I did in the past few years. Uh, uh, a very brief summary. Uh, when you look at your own development, you look at what you have. I'm doing math, so we have the technologies and contents in and uh, relatively, Hong Kong has a Hong Kong market is very small, but relatively, because we have a relative, relative strong uh, technology background in my sector compared with my Asia Pacific competitors, so we made some innovations and we uh, start in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and we have not very strong, but we have uh, some regional coverage. And luckily, as I said, luckily, I started this company some 15 years back. So uh, when I start, my first product launch in Singapore, Malaysia was 2004, just 10 years, yeah, 2003, 2004, just after SARS. Uh, at that time, uh, in my sector at that time, we are stronger than South Asia companies. Uh, today, as I said, in my sector, I am, I am still stronger than these companies over there. But in in some different markets, in multimedia, in uh, cartoons, in um, uh, especially in movie, uh, in the uh, uh, 3D graphics, for several sectors, I saw the heavy investment of Malaysia company, uh, government or Thailand government and they cultivate several uh, strong local, well actually strong local players and actually several company has become a regional players or even international players. So uh, today for young people in Hong Kong it's a bit uh, tough 
but still, uh, we have the challenge because we are in a unique position that we are the linkage of the Chinese original culture and uh, the Western cultures. And this is roughly my presentation. Uh, and then I prefer to leave uh, time to questions uh, for the audience. So, yeah, this question is yes, the lady first, lady first. Now, more user, more uh, customer actually rely on the Google Map mm -hmm. function. Yep. And then even for uh, GPS for uh, to guide their uh, driving, but how do you think uh, mapping can uh, have the edge? And um, do you think you have a competitor with them, or actually you also can uh, collaborate their data and use uh, them? Actually, both. Um, uh, yeah, actually, Google is one of my major customer because we provide, actually, we provide service to them. And so, uh, no one, no one can compete with Facebook or Google or Microsoft, right? No one can do that. So you, by working with them, it, actually, we build our strength in mappings. So today, as I said, 100% of Google Maps provide by us, except the satellite, except the stream wheel car. Today, we are also taking it panoramics for Google. So um, while you use Google Map free of charge, but at the best side we get some money from that source. That, that's, that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is while we uh, provide service to them, but on the other side, actually they uh, eat up the market. For example, if you look at uh, uh, these, the, um, the social networking LBS map we did, so funded by Singapore government. That one is actually compete with Facebook check in. How can we compete? Yeah, we finish the product, the software work, but that's all. <laughs> so we need to find our edge how we can survive. The key point is there. And you can see the this you can see this uh, this one. The nine box are the revenues of my company throughout the years. Uh, while we get today, yeah, because people using Google, so people, unless we provide something that's better than Google, Google Map, otherwise we will use it. So on one side, uh, on one side we are doing localization that Google are not doing. You can see the uh, traffic CCTV we show to you uh, for Hong Kong. Actually, we have, we have this one for Malaysia launch already. As I said, we have more than 10,000 users there. And uh, a very strong version will come up in Indonesia on the same thing. So if you use a Google Map for your charge, you have some live traffic there. But you cannot have the CCTV or something. So, so on one side, you need to, we are doing localization that Giants are not doing. On the second side, we got some income from these big companies. And the third thing is we try to make a balance the block that we can get income from this or that. For example, I got because of all these technology, I got the uh, Columbus City Government live traffic platform this year, just a few months back. Thank you. And uh, I do have another question. Yep. You mentioned about the gaming. Uh, you have one slide mentioned about your company also doing some gaming project. Can yep. you elaborate a little bit more? Because maybe that area will be something new for uh, in the mapping industry. Yes. So maybe your company can take benefit of it. And that's how I think. And uh, um, yeah, yeah, one of the slides. Yeah. I know this one. Gaming. Are you from a game company? No. No. Not really. <laughs> most of our people, most of the computer users, they are quite uh, interested in the, because, like, 
you just say we can't compete with the yeah. large global company, right? But for the gaming, is 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 different. The market is different, so that's how I think. Yes, you are correct. You are correct, and uh, uh, actually we are doing uh, something on games. Yeah, we are doing something on games, but not not too much. Uh, the major reason I have here is actually my friends asked me to start games some ten years ago, and I am a very I'm a very dogmatic person, an official person. I never play games, so I, I I I told my friends I do not play games. How can I play games? <laughs> and so I never I never uh, very seriously go into games, but uh, because we have. We have some content, we have the 3D rendering engine, we have some technology ourselves. So actually we start a little bit of games in the, floor, uh, in the past, uh, sometimes. Yeah. Because, and because we are not very strong in games. So what we can partner with any one of you here is because we have the true 3D engine that uh, we can show a map really 3D. And uh, we can if anyone interested in, the, in these kind of things, uh, we can talk about how uh, by licensing arrangement, by partnership arrangement, that we provide part of our source to uh, the community here, and we, we start something. Yeah. And, and that may be potential. Yeah. Okay, any more Thanks. questions? Yes, the gentleman. Uh, yes, I first heard about uh, Mac King, I think, uh, 10 years uh, ago. Okay. Uh, it was a uh, Windows mobile phone yep. uh, application. Yep. Is your application still works uh, in uh, Windows 8? The similar one uh, for, for for hiking, bicycling, or driving? It's different product already. Is the, that is the problem. Yeah. As I said, actually, I, I, I told you about this. We have our some of our own technologies, and the OS mark changed. Uh, dramatically, it's ten years back, ten years back, that was a HP, uh, an HP uh, pocket PC phone. At that time, because we were one of the actually we were one of the first company doing this in the some ten years back, so we got a bundle contract from HP for uh, 16, 16 cities in Asia. Uh, they, that was actually one of the one of our very important project in the early years. At that time, it was for Pocket PC OS, and then you can see the problem. Uh, Pocket PC started, and then Windows Mobile still survive, and then start Android, and then start iPhone iOS, and this product is in on Android, and then. Windows Mobile, there was Windows 8, Windows 8, we got Windows 8 and Windows 8 RT. And at that time, our decision is actually at that time, uh, I cannot disclose other these kind of big partners' business, but I can disclose ours. Okay. And then at that time, we talked and then with someone, and then we decide, okay, we still invest. So we, we invest one product for Windows 8. Uh, Tablet, we do LT. The protocol uh, mapping this city. Actually, that is a. I mean, if if there if we do an LT tablet sold in Hong Kong half a million. If that is the market, and I believe. Uh, on a half million users market, that product can survive because I can get income from here or there. But the problem, everyone knows the, the, the sales of Windows and LT. And so we invest in that product and then, yeah, actually, well, the product is still there, but, but we don't have sufficient users in Hong Kong. This is one of the most difficult problems that Hong Kong company face, even myself. Yeah, the, the Hong Kong market itself is small. And 
we have seven million population. Seven million population, we have Europeans that need English. We have you need Cantonese. We have people from China they need simplified Cantonese Chinese. And it's difficult for us or you to make a product for this market and guarantee it's right. This that's the difficulty. So actually, I have several business plan in Hong Kong doing different kind of system or software, and I see uh, if you or in my case inside position mapping is Asia company. So I still I, I start this in Indonesia. I start that in Malaysia. So we survive. Hong Kong market is is difficult. So. The, win the window, so if window, that's it, because in, in my experience, uh, we usually start something new for Hong Kong, the hacker in Hong Kong. And if we survive in Hong Kong, we move the product to uh, overseas. So our product on window, XRT, is there, but it is not a healthy product. Yet. So uh, we, we even did not bring it to Malaysia or Indonesia. Any more questions? Any questions? With regards to adopting your product, like you were saying how the market in Hong Kong is relatively small, with regards to adopting your your product outside of Hong Kong, uh, I think you said Indonesia, like, do you find a lot of challenges in, within adopting products into different Asian markets because you have so many different countries that have different requirements, do you find that challenging to, to do that? Um. Yes and no. I mean, uh, of course, there is challenge to Hong Kong companies in Asia Pacific. Uh, but today, you are doing apps or you doing systems, or you are not not a software company. Uh, not software. Okay. Uh, if you are a software company today, actually there are iOS. This is Android OS and uh, Windows Mobile. Today, if you are a software company, if you have a product that running on these three platforms, so you are running in the world. Yeah. So actually, uh, is the United uh, uh, Homogeneous OS actually helps apps companies to cross border. First, separately for uh, the challenge in Southeast Asia. Uh, in my experience, um, one of the challenges is language barrier. Uh, in order to handle that, you need several things. Firstly, you need some local uh, partner or, or good local staff helping you. And secondly, uh, you better try to avoid a product that require a lot of language or input. Yeah. Because language language is something very local. But on the other side, if you uh, write on your own technology or write on your own product, if you create something that is local locally unique, still you can survive. Because if you do that, because, for example, Google or Facebook, they are providing a homogeneous product worldwide. So they will never take care a specific need for Hong Kong or a specific in Shenzhen or specific in uh, Indonesia or Malaysia. Uh, by taking this approach, for example, I, 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 uh, if you go to the uh, Google Google Play Market. You search market in Indonesia. Actually, today we have a we have a uh, this kind of uh, navigation map there. We have more than ten thousand users. That's the first version, not so good version. And actually, coming in a, in a Q one, we have a second version will be a. I know that will be a quality version, and that quality version actually 
Google navigation will never do it. But they will not do localization into such a deep level that we are doing. And that's up to you. I, I don't know what, what, what business or what product you are doing. If you are doing a Coca-Cola, you cannot survive. Yeah, because you can't commit Coca-Cola. But if you are doing a drink that is has some, I don't know, dim sum maybe. <laughs> if you are doing a dim sum in, in Indonesia, because that's, that's very local, so Coca-Cola is not going to compete with you. And you bring a Hong Kong dim sum to Indonesia because you have your uniqueness that they are not doing. Yeah. So, uh, so po how to position your product or how to position yourself and your strength is the key point for, for me to, uh, to run this company. Yeah. I believe that's the same. When, uh, we, we, my company, we are doing uh, enterprise uh, mobile device monitoring. Okay. So uh, one one challenge we we are facing is like in, in China is very special. In a sense, a lot of mobile phones in China they cannot talk to uh, Google Cloud messaging mm. uh, very well, mm. uh, particularly during major political meetings. Mm. Uh, so. That, that that really impacts the real time, real timeliness uh, of our monitoring. Uh, so, uh, do you uh, when you do real time stuff um, like logistic tracking and stuff in China? Do you do you meet similar challenges and any any uh, insight that you might share uh, regarding this very uh, lo locally Chinese? challenge <laughs> <laughs> okay before you arrive I told them that I I, I, I use a Weibo and I left a message there about where Kai Xi came Hong Kong and uh, he went to China but uh, it was deleted by the Weibo of us uh, the message of, of that is uh, I did something that is different from China people but not, not last for a long time but stay for a day and for your question it's quite actually uh, we have the same challenge this product because we use the uh, Google login and the Google login got power in China uh, it might, it, what we handle is in this way we have a Hong Kong product and because my major market is Southeast Asia so I finish the Hong Kong product and then I expand in Southeast Asia market and at the same and after this I will have actually today I mean at these days after success of this product so we need to have a specific task force to handle those issues for China market and particularly I don't have a navigation map license so I have the connection with one of the China company it's a big one in Beijing in Beijing and Shanghai and they, okay, they are both in Beijing and they are sales in Shanghai I got that connection with a China company that help me to resolve some particular problem that people face in China. Of course I need to I need to pay him, not I need to pay him. He need to get a certain amount of the potential money I can collect. And and I believe uh, uh, in your sector, yeah. Yeah, good. yeah very good tips. It underscores China is a whole category of its own right. A whole box of tricks needs to be applied to uh, get all the uh, strings connected. Uh, another another um, interesting idea that I have after listening to what you say is as a Hong Kong citizen, uh, one of my frustrations is when I wait for a bus 
uh, I really can see uh, when the next bus will be coming or uh, it's a possible location. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, if you can work with our local bus uh, <laughs> operators, okay. that this would be is, nice. <laughs> this is, yeah, actually, my reply to this question actually uh, was the first five minutes of this time. Okay, what was that? Well, this problem to me and to everyone here is Singapore government got some advantage to Singapore government company. They pay to foreign company mapping when Singapore compete locally, but with the vision that they, the Singapore government build up a local company to compete with me. Actually, the boss is my friend, the Singapore company. In Hong Kong, we don't have that uh, policy in government. They, they, if you if you read the news of the new CEO of Science Park, the, the news just said he is, he wish Hong Kong government has the purchasing uh, priority to local company with fifty percent or something like that. They they talk they talk about that and. That is one of the problem. The problem here is, uh, I just got a, a, a project uh, for the uh, intelligent transport portal for Kuala Lumpur city government. I got it in Kuala Lumpur, but I can't get it in Hong Kong. The reason is Hong Kong government, you know, we beat Hong Kong government tender, uh, difficult, they prefer big companies, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and and you need to have a more uh, welcoming procurement policy of our government not to me for, for a particular sector but in general so local company can build up uh, escalate more easier or survive in Hong Kong yeah, for example even for, for what, you, what you are doing you are doing the uh, mobile monitoring yeah, if you got a tender of all the uh, officers of Hong Kong government, I mean, you survive with them, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not you, I mean, if they open a tender, give priority to local companies, yeah. But uh, same for same for the uh, the bus killing users. Um, we have a very a um, a, we have a very uh, a strong uh, local community. The uh, councillors in Mexico or district councillors, they complain to whatsoever they can complain. But, but, they, but they, 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 they are watchdog to the government. Right? So the government is very hesitant. But, but I don't want to do that, I won't want to do this. But what I don't understand is uh, bus operators, yeah. they are private enterprises, yes. right? Why, why, why you mentioned so much about government? The point is here. The point is, uh, I got the project of SMLT testing. So you know the Singapore taxi, they have a panel, they have they have different way to okay, if you go to Singapore you have different methods to call a taxi. You can phone to a taxi company, I want a taxi. You can send an SMS to a taxi company. I and then uh, in Singapore there is a lot of stands. This is a taxi stand number one two three. I send here stand number one two three to the taxi company. The system of taxi company uh, C a this mobile phone calling a taxi. Or you can use the app of the taxi company, press a button, I am Mr. Chen, I want a taxi here, please come. And then serve road service company. Why? Why? Because in Singapore, the taxi company, they invest in technology. So, as a consumer, you have uh, so many ways to get a taxi in Singapore. So the uncle in the taxi here has a panel and then press a button. In China, a lot of taxis got a GPS inside. Why? Because someone get money. If the tax, if the taxi, yeah, then that's real. In Hong Kong, we don't have both. <laughs> so in Hong Kong. We don't have the initiation in government. Okay, why? 
the, the Singapore taxi, for example, Singapore, Singapore, there is Singapore MRT taxi, there is the other comfort taxi. All the several big taxi companies actually got government investment. And they have the initiative from Singapore government that they want to build up Singapore as a, um, as, I forgot their slogan, but at, at once, as an advanced IT city in Asia Pacific. That's the position of Singapore government. So the government got initiative, they push, and because actually a lot of Singapore company owned by Singapore government. They are not 100% owned, but they are. They are very influential to these companies. So they pay money to build the things. So today, in every SRLT taxi, there is a mapping inside. Because someone paid the money, and they want the technology. And they have the clear knowledge that I want to build up Singapore as a hub of IT, as a hub of advanced technology in the region. So Singapore government pushed the company to put the money here. So I got a small piece and some company got another piece. So we are there. The problem in Hong Kong is we don't have this. Yeah. And when the government don't have this, and uh, it goes to where the boards of the bus companies look into this. And I want to have this in order to bring Hong Kong into a uh, intelligent traffic hub or whatsoever. So that, that, that's still a public policy matter. So, uh, any more questions? Good. Uh, thanks everyone, keep your eyes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.